Hi guys, today we are going to talk about production. Entire production chapter I have divided into two parts, part 1 and part 2. And this video is about part 1. So after watching this, I invite all of you all to go and watch part 2 as well to get an overall idea about the production chapter. So let's see what's inside production part 1. Needs and wants. As human beings, there are certain things which are essential for us to live and there are certain things which are not essential for us to live. So those things, we can put it into these two categories called needs and wants. Needs are the things necessary for living, that is food, shelter and clothing. As an example, without food, without drinking water, we can't survive. And then, wants are those goods and services which are not compulsory for living but makes life easier. As an example, you want luxury vehicles to travel. That is not something compulsory but it's still you want it because it makes our lives more comfortable. And you want more designer clothes to wear because it makes our lives more beautiful. So those are known as want. So that's the difference between need and a want. In order to satisfy the needs and wants, we need something. So that is known as a product. So product comes in two different ways. It can be a good or else it can be a service. As an example, if you go to a shop and if you purchase a cake, Cake is something that you can touch as it is something that you can see. So it is known as a good. But if you consult a doctor, you get a service there and that service you can't see as well as you can't touch. So apart from these two differences, there are other differences as well. So we'll discuss those differences in the next slide. There are six differences between goods and services. First one, goods ownership is transferred, services ownership is not transferred. Assume your neighbor wants to sell his car and once you purchase his car, that car belongs to you. So you become the owner of his car. And when it comes to service, you go and consult a doctor. So that is a service, but that consultancy is not something belong to you. So therefore the services ownership is not transferred. Goods are tangible, services are intangible. Third difference is good is a physical commodity, service is an activity. Consulting is an activity, teaching is an activity. Fourth difference is goods are homogeneous, services are heterogeneous. Homogeneous in a sense it is consistent, heterogeneous in a sense it is not consistent. Example. When you purchase a chair, which is a good, that chair is going to remain as it is until it comes to the end of its life cycle. So that is, therefore, we say goods are homogeneous. And when it comes to services, we'll take an example like this. A teacher has to do two lessons, I mean the same lesson in the morning as well as in the evening. So morning she might use a different techniques and evening she might use a different technique to teach the student. So that is not consistent. Therefore we say services are heterogeneous. And the fifth one, goods can store, services cannot store. Last difference is goods, production and distribution are separate from their consumption. Whereas services, production and distribution and consumptions are simultaneous process. Example, when you purchase a chocolate, the chocolate has made in a different place in a different time. And if you come to a service, when you consult a doctor, doctor is providing you a service and you are getting a service from the doctor and it happens at the same time. Therefore, we say services are simultaneous process. Our next topic is factors of production. Factors of production are an economic term that describe the input that are used in the production of goods or services in order to make an economic profit. 
and there are four factors of production include land labor capital and entrepreneurship it means actually we get use of these four types of factors to manufacture a good or a service now we are going to see factors of production one by one first land land represent all natural resources such as timber and gold used in the production of a good second factor is labor labor includes all of the work that laborers and workers perform at all level of an organization except for the entrepreneur if anyone works in an organization they belong to a category called labor and the other factor is capital capital is made up of all the tools and machinery used to produce a goods or a service even cash comes under this category called capital the last factor of production is enterprise or as we say entrepreneurship the entrepreneur is the individual who takes an idea and attempt to make an economic profit from it by combining all other factors of production the entrepreneur also takes on all of the risk and rewards of the business so now we'll take all those four factors and we'll put all the factors into a diagram like this in this diagram there are four factors of production these are the inputs to the production process land labor capital and enterprise and then production process is going to take all these inputs and it's going to con convert those inputs into a final product and that product is going to be consumed by consumers now we are going to go through the production process production is a process and method used by producers to transfer inputs such as raw materials semi product goods and even ideas information and knowledge into goods and services and you can see there's an example farmer prepares the ground plant seeds harvest the crops and sell his outputs to the others similarly a manufacturer may buy the harvest of the farmer process it in some way then sell it to someone else who will market the end product that eventually reach the consumer right and for the if you are explaining you can see this diagram there is a farmer and there are processors who takes input from the farmers and then processors are going to convert these inputs into final products and they will be selling those products to the buyers and then buyers are going to transport those products to the retailers the people who are selling those products and the consumers are going to buy those products from the retailers so this is a chain so therefore we say this is chain of production chain of production consists of levels and these levels are linked with each other that's why we say it is a chain of production there are three levels primary level secondary level and tertiary level primary production or as we say primary level primary production is about the extraction of basic materials provided by nature which are either below or above the earth surface the extractive industries are farming fishing and mining so now we'll see the examples of these industries and at the same time there would not be such more production without these industries first farming farming involves food production in the form of fruit animals and plants and also other produce such as trees and flowers fishing plays a major part in providing food for countries that have access to sea deep sea fishing is carried out in the open sea mining involves the extraction of raw materials such as fossil fuel oil and gas and so on from below the earth surface next level of production is secondary production secondary production consists of the manufacturing and construction industries they take the materials produced by the extractive industries it means from the primary production and change them into an end product 
so there are two there are two types manufacturers and constructions manufacturers may be involved in the production of a complete item or they may take part that will be assembled into finished articles construction industries take the raw or partly processed materials of pr primary producers and change them into buildings roads bridge and so on so these people comes in secondary production now we'll move on to the tertiary production tertiary activities also a form of production because they enables the change of ownership of goods and services tertiary activities begin when goods leave the producer such goods do not usually pass directly to the consumer goods can be transported stored insured advertised and sold by trader on the open market so when good leave the manufacturer until it goes to the final consumer all the activities happens comes under tertiary activities tertiary activities are sometimes called the service industry but more often they are referred to as a commercial services and direct services so there's a separate chapter we discuss about the differences between commercial service and the direct services right with the levels of production next we are going to see the term called interdependency elements of chain of production interdependent primary production needs manufacturers to use their output the production cannot take place without the raw materials provided by primary production similarly tertiary activities are the important link between all types of producers and the market their output so from this it is visible that industry and production cannot exist without commerce and commerce cannot exist without production so they are interdependent simply if we say without primary production secondary production cannot happen without primary and secondary productions tertiary activities cannot happen so therefore it's really important to have all these three levels are functioning in a proper way and these three levels are interdependent so that's called interdependence right so that's all for today and thank you very much for watching my video i hope you guys enjoyed it and please go and check the next video production part 2 thank you